Zudi, um, fundamentally, there, there seems to be a problem with, with how they're uh, grabbing onto this religion. I, I'm going to share with you a quote from an article, uh, the, an excellent article that everybody should read in The Atlantic called What ISIS Really Wants. And in this article, according to the author, uh, Islamic State, he writes, is Islamic, very Islamic. Well, that's, you know, the, the, the uh, article really lays out the fact that this is a battle inside Islam. Who's going to win over the interpretation for these passages that the ISIS folks use to say that the Quran says kill the infidel, the Quran says this? Well, moderate Muslims who believe in the Western secular state say that applied to the 7th century. There were no secular states around the world at that time. Now, because of the American Revolution, we believe this society is better than any Islamic state, and we want to abandon the Islamic State. In Turkey, while there may have been people saying Allahu Akbar, the, there were also many who were probably visibly upset. Turkey for a long time was a secular country and they're going through a battle within themselves between this Islamo-nationalism and patriotism versus secular patriotism. And, and the first people to be killed by the ISIS's of the world, Trish, mm -hmm. are Muslims like me and others who reject their interpretation sure. of those passages. No, they don't, they and don't say, want you. Know you. What? They don't like you. They don't like you one single bit and that's because because you don't believe in the caliphate. I mean, the fact that any government that has a Muslim in charge, in their view, uh, that doesn't uh, believe in the caliphate system is, in fact, at odds with the religion. Uh, so I look at that and I just question, do we need to destroy the actual caliphate? I mean, you're talking about an area there that, that they can train uh, potential jihadists in, that they can run with their uh, barbaric laws, uh, and that they can really generate power from, specifically now this area in northern Syria, into Iraq. Yeah, absolutely. This is what the difference is between Al-Qaeda and all the other groups that are inspired by Islamism versus those that now have ground and, and land in which they can put their flag down and say they have a caliphate and bring in jihadists from the Taliban, Boko Haram and everywhere to join them. So we have to decimate the lands that they own so that that can be taken back over by the Muslims they were killing first, which were the Muslims that reject their authenticity, reject the Islamic State and, and begin to take sides. If we say that all Muslims want this, we're going to ignore the fact that in Tunisia, the secularists won an election against the Islamists of an Nahda. In Egypt, you had millions rise up against the Brotherhood mm -hmm. after they ran the government for a year. So this is a battle that within Islam, there are many, many Muslims on our side, sure. and we have to help to them unite. decimate the militants. I mean, this is one where you need the Sunnis and the Shiites, and I know everybody says it's impossible, but you need them coming together because there is one common enemy and that is isis Amen. and the sooner people realize that the better dr jasser thank you very much as always good to see you